All right, good morning, seniors. Matt here. I'm just going to show you guys uh, what we mean by abstraction. We've done this before in Snap, but what we're going to do is I have an example. I have my game pulled up here. And when we talk about abstraction, we talk about making code more simple. Look at all this code here. There's a lot of stuff going on. I want to simplify parts of this by creating little blocks and giving them names that describe what they do and then putting all the complicated code in the single blocks and then my code will be simpler. Watch how I do that. So inside this forever loop, I have these four conditionals. If left key, if right key, if up arrow, if down arrow, or left arrow, right arrow, up arrow, down arrow. These move my character around, all four of these conditionals. I can simplify this code by creating an abstraction that is making a new block I'm gonna call it move player it's motion because I'm moving it's a command that's fine I'm gonna hit OK and what I'm gonna put in here is all four of my motion conditionals to sort of simplify the way this looks so watch I'll take these out but look I took too much so I only want one two three four I'm going to put these guys back right back in the forever loop. I'm going to put this in here. So now all four of my conditionals that make my character move with my arrows are inside this move player block. Now I hit apply, OK. Here's my block. It just shows up in my motion menu because I made it a motion block. I'm going to pull this out. I'm just going to just check it real quick by editing it. Yep all in there apply okay and now I'm gonna put this move player block back where all those other conditionals were before and now look my code is way simpler and you can do the same thing for if key space press broadcast fire or if touching sprite or if energy these conditionals can also go inside abstractions or their own blocks this space key press broadcast fire, this basically shoots my the like laser out or the projectile that player one fires out. So you might call this block fire and just put this inside there. This one, if touching sprite, change energy by negative one. This is when you get hit by the enemy. So you could make a block called uh, enemy attacks and put this inside there. And finally, this one uh, takes away this one checks to see if I have zero energy. And if I do, hide my player and broadcast you lose. In other words, it, it checks to see if I'm dead. And if I'm dead, it says you lose the game. So this could be a block called lose. You could make a block, call it lose, or lost, or game over, and put that in there. That These are ways to abstract your code to make it look a lot simpler. So it's easier to understand what's going on. And if someone wants to dive in, you want to see the mechanics and all the code you build, they can go inside these abstractions and further investigate the code. Now this is important because when we turn in these games for our AP, uh, when we finally design our own apps, they're going to want to see abstractions. So this is a great way to do it, great way to start. All right, I hope you're all well. Just follow my instructions in this video. Make an abstraction for move player. And then also make an abstraction for one of these other three conditionals here, like I just described. And uh, save it, share it, turn it in on Classroom. Hope you guys are well. See ya.